Jake. Well, you might at least stand, sir. I'm coming, OK? His carriage awaits. Yeah, try and shift that lad after his paper on and you're wading through concrete. So how's it working out? Oh, well, we get on all right. God knows how long he's stopping. Ah, it's a bit of an unusual setup. Uh, yeah, I suppose so, yeah. No, uh, no serious difficulties? It's you and your school teachers out, is it? Sorry. Yeah. Work OK, is it? No problem. Yeah. No trouble at school? Absolutely. Yeah, well, there's your answer. Nick! Good, good. So that's good then. Give us a break. Well, it's you that wanted your lift. So what's the rush? I mean, it's only half eight. Oh, well, I haven't got a living to earn. Oh, no. All I've got to do is wait on you, hand and foot. You know, sarcasm's the lowest form of wit. Actually, if you feel like coming to Better Buys, there's a number 12 bus course from Rosamond Street. It'll drop you right at the door. Why should I come there? Oh, no reason. I could show you off. I think I will watch the TV. Oh, all right. Don't watch it all day, will you? Why not? Well, it's sort of depressed behaviour, is that? And I don't want you depressed. I am not depressed. I don't want you even seeming depressed. If I go out, I have to have money and I do not have. Oh, well, here. No, I, I take too much from you. Oh, that's what I'm here for. No, we decide I will stay. We did not decide you will pay. Oh, Shamir, you can't live without money. Here, take it. Go to the cinema. Well, the cinema? Oh, you like the cinema? I like the cinema, but, uh, you know, there are other things in life. Oh, yeah, of course, but... Other things cost money, yes. So, take it, please. I may use it, I, I may not use it. Thank you. Actually, if you came around lunchtime, we could have lunch somewhere. A pub, maybe. A, always a pub. <laughs> All right, we'll get a sandwich and sit on a wall and it'll probably rain and it'll serve you right. Mm. You see, half of me wants to give her a hug, but the other half of me wants to say, go on, fight your corner. You be a supermodel. I know it'll end in tears. She's a grown woman. Ah, we can pretend. Tommy! Hey, there's Betty now. This is just between us, Charlie. Not a word to Betty or the Queen of the Night. Mm. And pain of death, don't tell Ducky. There then, Betty. Hello, hello, hello. love. Uh, how did you get on yesterday? Did you see Raquel? I did. Oh, how is she? Oh, she's doing fine. Mm. She's not got any modelling work just at the moment, but she's fine in herself. Oh. Just to make ends meet, she's doing some work behind a bar. She could do that here. Oh, Betty. Weatherfield's not the great metropolis. But you see, where she is now, she gets a call from Paris or Rome. She's only got to hop on a plane. Head still in the clouds, then. We all need dreams, Betty. Yeah, I know. Trouble is, I dreamt mine years ago, lover. Look, I'm going to fill this up, and then I want all the details. Morning. Brew coming up, Tanya. Oh, great. Oh. So, have you found Raquel? Oh, you should have seen her. She looked terrific. Full of beans, brimming over with self-confidence. That course has really done a good. We're back to the old Raquel. That's nice. Morning, Charlie. Morning, Tanya. Here we are. From our Van Gogh range. Use that and any sketch becomes a masterpiece. And we guarantee not one of our purchasers have cut their ears off yet. <laughs> well, it's rather flimsy. What do you mean, flimsy? Well, we're used to better quality than this. That's Hawthorne's finest. <laughs> well, if Van Gogh had had to use this, we'd have had dandelions instead of sunflowers. Oh, suit yourself. I'd forgotten we were the great perfectionist all of a sudden. Well, I'll take it in tonight if you want, and somebody might find it just passable. But I wouldn't expect a bulk order if I were you. No, don't bother. Far be it from me to lower the standard of the salon. And it must be quality tonight, eh, Mavis? Why, what's special about tonight? Nothing. Nothing at all. It's just an ordinary night. But have you seen the order book, Creator? It's in front of you. Nothing special, she says. It's a high spot of the year. Even I know that. <laughs> it's quite sad, really. A high spot of your year, sitting, gazing at a bowl of fruit. Oh, it's not fruit. Well, it could be fruit. Who knows? I mean, 
Who knows what it could be at a still life class? Oh, no. No, of course not. Well, I'm on tender hooks. And frankly, I'd have preferred dandelions. Bang off sunflowers were a load of rubbish. So, he doesn't know it's a live class. Because he'd be... Oh, I don't know what he'd be, but... Well, he'd be odd about it. My, my, my. What a tangled web we weave. Yes. Oh, Jack. No, Jack. Let me give us the nod. What does that mean? I'd like you to be all Steve, eh? Oh, that was a nod and a half, wasn't it? Are you implying something? Oh, come on, Des. I've been doing the arses all of my life. I've never had that kind of look. And a young kid comes out of here winning three and a half grand. <laughs> yeah, well, if I knew the answer to that, I'd be a very rich man. Mm, a bit of a coincidence, isn't it? He just happens to be living at the same house as the bookie that he wins the money off. Oh, get real, will you? No think I want him to win the money off me. Could be sharing it out. Yeah. Well, that's close to slander, that is, Jack. Close to a thick lip and all. Is that a threat? If you like. No, 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 no I don't mean it that way, do I? I mean, it looks a bit funny, you must admit. How many times have you done doubles with this kind of dough? Never. Could that be the answer, then? No. So now you want me to throw you more money, do you? Yeah, well, Jack, if you did throw that kind of dough at me, I wouldn't accept it. What's wrong with my money? You'd end up losing. You asked me to let you off. I'd refuse. You'd start shouting it. It'd end up with your Vera putting a brick through my window. Who says I'd lose? Me. I just think you're chicken. Tea? I thought you'd like to know Ken Barlow was sniffing around this morning. Oh? No sinister, I don't suppose, but... What did he want? Well, he wanted to know if I was having any difficulties with Nicky. And what did you say? Very little. It's none of his business, even if I was, which I'm not. He is his teacher. Yeah, well, let him stick to teaching, then. I hope he didn't say that, Don. Look, it's up to you, me and Nicky, where Nicky lives. Yes, well, I did ask uh, Ken to keep an eye on Nick and Gary, keep them on the straight and narrow, so I suppose he's only doing what I asked him. Well, let him keep an eye on them at school. Out of school, it's down to us. He means well, Don. Yeah, I just cast on that sort of social worker poking his nose in. Well, I'd rather have a social worker poking his nose in than a kid in trouble any day of the week. You're talking like a tabloid newspaper, Don. Oh, heck, don't say that. Oh, hey, look, girl, I take it all back. If ever I start on about bring back hanging or do SS scroungers, lock me up in a darkened room with a box of tranquilizers, and I'll be all right in the morning. Mr. Watts to check out. Mr. Watts to check out. Do you know what this is? Thank you. It's an envelope, Andy. It's what you put letters in. It's my resignation. You don't think I'm serious, do you? What's brought this off? Curly. Boredom. You. What have I got to do with it? Well, you're doing what I should be doing, aren't you? Going back to university. I shouldn't have left Sheffield in the first place. Not being impulsive or anything, are we, Andy? It's just not me, this, though, is it? I'm in the wrong job, aren't I? In fact, I think I'm in the wrong world. It's your life. Yeah, I know. Well, don't look at me to talk you out of it. Ah, decision's made. Well, good for you. Is that what you want me to say? Yeah, definitely. I'm out of here. See you later. something you won't hear very often. The Rover 600 series. Cars built this well are few and far between. Indigestion? 
settlers' tums express relief in three fruity flavors, blackcurrant, orange, and lemon. What would your family say to Mini Trivial Pursuit? Free on special boxes of Cadbury's Roses! Thank you! In selected shops now. Thank you. Arguments who work with people who say, Oh, wouldn't go to net. I said, Why not? Carrots are carrots, a cabbage is a cabbage, apples are apples. And eggs are eggs, aren't they? No matter what, still comes from a chicken, doesn't it? If it's fresh, yeah. All the, all the meat's so fresh. Pop gets a lot cheaper, yeah. It's great, you can get everything, and it's far cheaper. That's why. There's nothing better in life to be the fit as a butcher's dog. <laughs> is your dog as fit as a butcher's dog? Make it work. It came from the news agents. It brings science to life. In issue one, you'll discover thrilling scientific facts about man-eaters and carnivores. Where does he store his victims? What's the deadliest poison? Why do crocs wrestle their dinner? Mind-bending experiments. How to see behind you. And over the first four issues, build your own killer croc. Coming soon, in issue two, the fastest things ever. Make it work. It will amaze you. I guess around uh, 96 pence. I reckon about a pound. About uh, 30 pence. Oh, n n pound? 90 pence? Um, uh, let's see, uh, 60 pence? Um, so about 50 p and 55. Your estimated bill is precisely 17 pounds 39. Estimating bills just doesn't add up. So at Manweb, we're trying to put a stop to it by reading more meters later in the evenings and at weekends. That'll cover it exactly. Make life easier. See the man. Five, Manweb. 10, 15. Thank you. Thank you. Last minute card. You know, I sometimes do this. I mean, sometimes you can actually get home before your cards arrive, and that's very embarrassing. Uh, certainly, these will get home before me. Yeah, well, it seems longer than a fortnight since you were here. I have uh, changed my mind. I, I will stay longer. Oh, well, that's um, five, twelve, sixty pence, please. Um, thank you. Um, did you change your flight? No, I, I did not get on it. Oh, so uh, how long you staying, shall we? I, I don't know. Uh, I want to stop. Uh, Deirdre want me to stop, so uh, I, I stop. Oh, quite impulsive. Yes, yes, at the airport. Oh, exciting! <laughs> Prefer weather food to Morocco, then, do you, mate? Well, it uh, it isn't just the place. Uh. <laughs> no, but, uh, Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Are you allowed to do that? What? Well, like these third world people. I mean, can they just stop here as long as they like? Careful, Mavis. I speak from experience. Catch yourself sounding like a tabloid and it's time to hold your breath. I spent the afternoon with Raquel yesterday, Des, in London. Can you give her my love? If I'd have thought of doing it, which I didn't, I would have decided it was something she was better off without. But she's okay, is she? She's doing fine. Sorting out a new life for herself and looking good. Well, next time, eh? There's no harm in saying I wish her well. It's quite touching, really. What is? Anyone would think he cared about her. And what is that, Tanya? The milk of human kindness. That woman. Who, oh, Betty? Tanya. It's like working with Cruella de Vil. We all have our off days.
Hiya. Do you mind if I stop for a while? With all his grace, and they show three legs clear from Corey and Master M. Yeah, and his next M. Pen Bowler comes in. Yeah, well, cheers. Thanks for having me. Bye bye. You're a clever lad, aren't you? Is this about so three grand off me? Yeah, well, you can't win all the time, can you, mate? Nor can you. Yeah, well, we'll see. I don't like him. Neither would I if he just took three grand off me. Uh, it's not that. He's a cocky little twerp. Yeah, but I can't argue with that. It'll take a long time to get in profit with him, but uh, he makes sure we do it, eh, he does. Yes, boss. What's he saying? Barring me. No? Wants me to keep an eye on you. What did he say? Happy to oblige. I am. Um, I told you about that photographer who said I should get my nose fixed. You did, love. Well, um, what I didn't tell you was that he sent me home and phoned the agency. He said, what did they mean by sending me? He said, I'd never make a proper model and my career shouldn't get beyond knitting patterns. Oh, Raquel. But why? Well, they had two Nadias on the books and there was this new girl started and she muddled us up. When was this? It was three weeks ago. Have you worked since? Well, only at the pub. I mean, I signed off at the agency because I wasn't standing for all that. They signed me off. They said, um... Their ideas didn't fit with my expectations. And you've sat licking your wounds in that rotten pub? Is Tanya through there? She is, love. She's nice, is Tanya. I know you've always had a soft spot for her. Oh, but, Beth, please don't tell her. She won't get a word out of me, love. Not one word. What am I going to tell people? Take yourself upstairs to your room. Your bed's still made up. And then I want you to lie down for an hour or two. And when you feel ready, get up and make yourself look like a million dollars. And come down and make an entrance. And we'll tell people that you've not been so good. And you've come home to get better. Oh, that! It's so oh. all right, Raquel. It will be all right. Oh. Come on. Whatever's brought this on. Come on. She said home. Well, you are, love. Come on upstairs. Sort yourself out. Good grief. That's a well-kept secret. No, it's my surprise. Hiya, Charlie. Hey, Princess. Uh, how's Calvin and all the little clients? <laughs> oh, you know, you don't change. I'm just uh, going upstairs for a night down. Uh, yeah, you supermodels need all the rest you can get. Huh? <clears throat> You'd best lay off the supermodel cracks, Charlie. Yeah, I wondered. She's worse than I thought. She's been given the heave all by that agency and told she's not up to it. It was all a brave face yesterday. Poor kid. Yeah. Her tail's right between her legs. So, the story is she's not been so good, and she's come back to get better. Yeah, okay. If you tell anybody different, you're in trouble. Yeah. If you carry your bags in a suitcase, it's not much to show for your life, is it? Hey, my life hasn't even started yet. Mum and Dad are going to get a shock, aren't they? You've chucked your job and you've moved back in. Your Dad always wanted me to be a college kid, didn't he? So he should be well chuffed. Oh, right. And Curly? What's Curly got to do with it? Does he know you're going to be a college kid? Well, he should do by now. I left my resignation on his desk. And does he know you're moving out? Um, yes. It was his idea.
Uh, keys, curly mate. Shove them through the letterbox. One for a pint. Stronger. It's confident. Yes, I think we've made a small breakthrough here. I think you've found your subject. Oh, well, thank you. Poor Curly fancies Paula, but Andy got in there first. I, I don't think she'd fancy him anyway. You're quiet. I am not happy. Oh, don't say that. I do not want to live from you. I don't mind. I do. I feel that, uh, I don't know, I, I, I feel a cheat, maybe. Well, you mustn't. You're not. I have to find work. Oh, no. Shamir, no. It's against the law. Don't even think about it. I have to. But if they catch you, they'll deport you. And then we'll never see each other. You'll never be allowed back. But I, I cannot uh, to respect myself. Just enjoy being here for now, eh? I mean, I'm working. I get enough to keep us. Let's just take life as it comes. Anyway, there are millions unemployed. It's not that easy. Always there are ways. Oh, Shamir, please, please, Deirdre, please. If I stay, I work. Excuse me. <sighs> May I see? It's not finished yet. Oh, please. Oh, well. Edwin liked it, didn't he? Well, I think he was just being kind. Oh, I don't think so. He had that special look he gets. Oh, and he was right. Oh, that's seminal work, Mavis. <laughs> Still a lot to do to it. Oh, no, it's strong. It's bold. Mm. Don't see mine. Oh. Mm. oh. What do you think? Uh, why did you do this? Well, I don't often find attractiveness and intelligence in the model. It was too good a chance to miss. I hope you're not upset. Well, I just feel... A a bit invaded. Well, I didn't mean to upset you. It's just that an unsuspecting model is far more natural, more relaxed. I must do something about my hair. <laughs> Hiya. This is Dave. Hello, Dave. Hiya. Who's Dave? He's come to talk about the rig. Oh, are you the one that's buying it? I might be buying it. Well, you'll be doing me a favour, love. I've been told it's a right good truck, but the sooner it's not his, the sooner I'll know where he is at night. See you later. Now then, Kev. You kept that quiet, didn't you, Pat? She's been poorly. She's come back to recoup. Who's that seen? No one has. Don't wed him with your hobnails. Don't even mention him. Hello, Tanya. Oh, I'm sorry, Tanya. What's up? Been... What a surprise! <laughs> Um, I'll just get rid of this and we'll have a nut. What would you say, Kevin? Was that a guilty conscience? Half my problem's what it looks like. And people see my son doesn't live with me, but with his granddad. What kind of mother does that make me? Look, I don't really care what it looks like. My problem is he's out of order and he just gets away with it. We've got to go along with him, Martin. The worst thing we can do is drag him home. Like I say, just gets away with it. Yeah, well, it might not be such a bad thing. I mean, you just wait. In a couple of days, he's going to be sick of Don's company. I'm working out a way to come home without losing a face. 
Don't let it drive a wedge between you and me. Well, it already has. This morning, Bill was saying how well you looked. Well, um, she's just being kind, cos, uh, actually, I I've not been too good. No, I, I can tell. Um, but I believe the modelling's going very well. I've had a very good course, Tanya. Yeah, you've not stopped since then, have you? Tanya, customer. I'll catch you in a minute. I told you to glam yourself up and make an entrance. I couldn't face it, Bill. Just makes it easier to say you've been poorly. Hey, Raquel. Oh, Jack. <laughs> oh, oh, give, give, us, give us a minute, love it. Oh, give us all. Oh, oh. Raquel. Oh, God, it's yeah. locked. Not another night, and I've been in five pounds bag of food and feet. It's, it's great to see you. And you. I've thought so much about you. You're a true friend, Curly. Come here. <laughs> so, one rover returns. Coronation Street returns to its regular time of 7.30 on Friday. Proud of himself, didn't I? Well, he can't say I didn't try. Oh, no, come flame on, will bother. come on. She's upset. You've got to see her. Yeah, yeah, well, I tried to. I didn't go around and stare up trouble, you know. Well, she knows that. Yeah, well, I don't think she does. Yeah, but she's settled down a bit after you've gone, you know. Believe me, she didn't mean to bite your head off. Well, if you say so, apology accepted. Right, thanks, Jack. Right, right Curly, that's three dozen hey. classes. Anything else? Uh, yeah, can I have uh, six packets of plain crisps? Having a party? Yeah. Do you want to come? But, uh, I wasn't planning on stopping up this time. Well, I mean it. You're very welcome. She'll be there, won't you, kid? Cheers, Jacko. How do you know? Because your auntie hey. Bet says it'll do you good. Oh, come on, then. You might as well come in. You don't mind it out of cups, do you? You meant a lot to me and all, you know, Tommy. How do you think I feel? Eh? I clothed him, fed him, I did everything for that kid. Eh? Yeah, I know you did, Vera. You did everything a grandmother could have. You don't know the half of it. Well, I saw more than you know, across the street from that window. And I never let him near you. I never dared ask. Well, we're both lost now. You know, it, even though I didn't see much of him, well, it was better than nothing. See, I didn't know you felt like that. Yeah, well, some things you keep to yourself, don't you? Anyway, you wouldn't have wanted to listen. Well, I've not to live for now, Des. Not anymore. Look, Vera, you had him 24 hours a day for a whole year. Now, they can't take that away from you. Yeah, but I should have let you see him. Well, at least I knew he was being looked after. That was Des. Yeah. Don't you dare wish me happy new year as I clock you on. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Hiya, mate. I, uh, I hear you and Vicky are no more. Oh, news travels fast, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, certainly does. So I expect you'll be waiting for... Yeah. I, I, I expect you'll be waiting for Alison to turn up then, will you? Oh, Why's she coming? Uh, yeah, as soon as she comes off duty, mate, she's just home. <laughs> Someone spilled wine on the carpet. Oh, 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 o
better, yeah. If you can find a better room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Come on, Come on, I'm fine. I'm fine. Alright, then take the notice. It's alright. Can I get you? I'm with someone. Okay. Excuse me. Oh, Give me a minute. Now listen. I meant what I said yesterday. I hope you do. Because I won't come running back to you. <laughs> Alison, what happened between me and... There was nothing between us. God's truth. Come on, Steve. <laughs> Get that down, you. Oi. Cheers. Happy New Year. Ugh. Serve you right. You don't have to look so stern. I am stern. Well, is it doing you any good? Could do with a gin in it. I'll dot you one, lady. I've spent more memorable New Year's Eves than this, you know. Don't remind me. I spent one of them playing Gooseberry, remember? <laughs> Gooseberry or not, you found plenty to occupy yourself. Do you mind? I thought we were trying to forget Steve McDonald. Really? Happy New Year, Tinkerbell. Happy New Year, Bert. <laughs> I've already seen you over Christmas. I'm not one for going out much. Oh, you surprised me. I thought you'd be out every night partying. Sorry to disappoint you. No, I oh, mind you, it makes me feel a wee bit, but I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm starting to feel like a bit of a social outcast. Do you want to dance or something? I would, but I wouldn't like your wife to think I was stirring it. Liz? You're yeah. still married, aren't you? Oh, yeah, by a thread. What's, what's, what's Liz got to do with that? It's not that way. And listen, stop feeling so sorry for yourself. There is life after divorce. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Liz. Hi. Didn't think I'd see you here. Uh, no, neither did I. Andy Rack, would I mind bringing some more food? Yep. More wine, anybody? Oh, yeah. I better give it to him. I'll see you later. Liz, Raquel, want some? I like your perfume, love. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Oh. Andy. Oh, I'm not brilliant. You expect too much of me, Don. I'm not a doctor that you can come back to for an appointment every six months. Don't give up on me. What am I supposed to do? Wait till it happens next time. I'm not strong enough to take it. Oh, I'm sorry. You've got to believe that. I'm the one that's left behind. With all the sleepless nights, all the excuses, the worries, explaining to folk, covering up. I need you, Ivy. Yeah, till the next time. No, no, it won't happen again. This time, I'm back for good. I've got to know for sure, Dylan. Trust me. Because it won't finish me if it happened again. Just give me one more chance. Please, Ivy. Right. I'll stand by you. Just once more. But what about Dom? Oh no, he's not working tonight. Yeah, but the lights are still on and his cab's outside. Uh, yeah, but he just got back from being away. Yeah. Oh. Well, it's only half an hour, innit? I can take you home. No, 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 look, I'll do it. Come on, you stay here. This is your party, all right? I'll do it. There's no need. Ah, nice enough. Come on, get your coat. Well, but you want to stop a bit longer? Hey, the party will still be going by the time I get you home, right? Just make sure you keep me some of that whiskey, all right? Um, to be honest, Dad, I think that's history now, yeah? 
Well, I'll just have to persuade your mother to sell me a replacement then. Oh. <laughs> Go on. Yeah. Thanks for coming, Mum. Hey, no year. problem. Happy New Year, Cheers, sir. Take it easy, mate. See you, mate. Right. See you, folks. Happy New Year. 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 What are you doing, V? I thought you were coming to bed. Well, there's no point. I can't sleep. It's two o'clock in the morning. You'll catch your death. And what are you doing with that out? Uh, do you remember that? That week in Morecambe? Uh, look at that, Terry, in his little trunks. <laughs> hey, look at this one, 14 months. Do you remember Granger over Sam's? Same age as our Tommy. You're not doing yourself any good. What are you doing? It's going in the loft out of road. You were a lovely kid, I'd say, wasn't you? No, you were a week old. I don't you be worrying yourself where we went wrong, because even if you found the answer, it wouldn't do you no good. You always thought it were a wrong one. And you were right. I hate to admit it, but you are. I've just been fooling myself all these years. Defending him. You know when he went wrong? Just because he were my flesh and blood. Oh, Jack, I'm sorry. Yeah, girl, you don't have to say you're sorry. We've always done as best by him, always have done. Well, we have. So, what is there to be sorry for? He's the one who let us down, you know. I'll tell you what, Jack, even Des Barnes, yeah, flaming Des Barnes thinks more of our Tommy than Terry does. Mm. He cares more about me and you than our Terry does. Oh, I don't know, Jack. You know, I've never hurt anybody in my life. It's just not fair. We don't was Vera. We don't expect life to be fair. Come on a bit. In a minute. No. Now. Doesn't do it be on your own. <laughs> oh, Jack. Oh. Uh, what would I do without you, eh? Uh? We'll get by, V. We have done until now, haven't we? Well, I'll be glad to see the back of this year, love. It hasn't been the best year of our lives, not for any of us. I suppose not. Well, there's no suppose about it. Anyway, let's hope next year I'll be a wee bit more lucky, eh? Didn't work like that, though, does it? Luck didn't change on the stroke of midnight once a year. Nah, but there's, there's no harm in hoping. I haven't been too bad for you, though, eh? Independent woman of means, the bright-eyed girl of the Newton and Ridley Empire. Hardly a girl. I'll tell you what, Liz, there was an awful lot of landladies hoping you were going to bottle it, and you didn't. You proved them wrong, you know. Well, there's more to life than running the Queen's. Anyway, who says I've made a success of it? Oh, come on, you're doing great. You know who you are. I just wish it weren't at the expense of my family. Yeah, well, so do I. But there's one thing you can't do, and that's turn the clock back, OK? If you could, would it make any difference? Yeah, I think it would. In fact, I know it would. Anyway, come on. It's freezing. <laughs> Let me take you home. Oh, come on, Martin, we've got to go home. The babysitter will be wanting to go. It's not red wine, is it? Do you know my mum's worst bag? Baking powder. Baking powder. There you go. Come on. Chelsea. Where have you got some? Yeah, in there. A bit late for all, ain't it? No, sorry, we don't mind it's now. Oh, thanks for a lovely party, You're girl. welcome. I'm, I'm sorry we've got to leave you with all this mess. Well, if you want to come round tomorrow, I'll cut you the light breakfast. I will tea time be like enough. Yeah, come on. Cheers, Dad. Cheers, Everybody, still the time. Come on. Time? 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 Time?
Come on. Sorry. You're waiting to walk me home. I thought you were going to walk me home and uh, come in for a cup of coffee or whatever. I've had one of your coffees before. I don't know what the leaves so. are. You didn't say no. Ah, yeah, but that would be for our special relationship. You said I was on a promise. I never did. I said I'd always be there if you needed a friend to talk to. It's not the same thing at all. Isn't it? No, of course it's not. See you tomorrow. <laughs> we don't want to spoil our relationship. It's a bit of an unfair question. Night. Good night. Raquel, I'll walk you home. No, thanks, I'm home. That's great, that. I didn't even get a kiss. So much for wishbones. Yeah, well, don't expect any sympathy from me, pal. Oh, oh he's coming out of your ears. Hey! I don't think the blouse is too daring to. Well, on Alfie to be daring, I knew it's well just, you know, sexy. <gasps> That's a Thomas your present. <laughs> Take his mind off all I've spent. <laughs> pair of socks, I think. Oh, I mean, don't overdo it. What are you ordering? Okay, two pairs then. Come on, let's get some to eat. You know, I'm starving. Hey, oh, it's a place here. Come, come on. I'll get these. You and Samir sit down. No, no, I'll get them. It's two coffees and there. Do you want some fruit or something? Mm, no, thanks. Hey, you should have heard Mitchell. I thought Samir was going to clock in one. He, he, he asked me if I do it for the money. What did you say? I said, uh, we have not yet fixed the price. Are you two having <laughs> me on? No, it's just something that they've got to ask before they get in touch with this somebody or other. Oh, you too? The... The Unrelated Life Tri Transplant Regulatory Authority. Oh, quite a mouthful. The next time I come in here, I'm having a Cornish pasty. I took you to Cornish for a real one. I bet you don't know where it is. I follow my nose. If, if the pasty is that good, I, I find it no problem. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this place were doing all right. Well, you see, the thing about general provisions is, is that well, it's all too general. You see, there's a lot of stuff that nobody wants. You need a speciality to bring them in. Red George, that's Toby Jones. What? Mother, there's no need to be so sarcastic. Only commenting. Yes, well, don't. I'll go and put the kettle in. <laughs> now, you do know that sarcasm is the lowest form of wit, don't you, Maud? Fun, though, ain't it? Yes, well, you can't say something nice, say nothing at all. Gospel of God into that girl. <laughs> See ya. Bye, love. Betty's flowers are nice. Helped to arrange them before she went home. Oh, you're not taking them with me? Put them in the bar. So what do you know about flower arranging? Oh, I once worked in a flower shop. Have you put them in water? Are you being serious? Well, you don't use water when you're cleaning. I just thought that you might do your flowers the same way. Excuse me. Excuse me, are these seats taken? Uh, no, no, except this one. Uh, my friend's just gone to the... I'll drink a nose. Thank you. Oh. Um, <clears throat> you ordered me a brandy. Well, you asked for a brandy. Yeah, but if you want me to drive home... Oh, enjoy yourself. I'm on the fruit juice. <laughs> well, that's friendship way, eh? Now, <laughs> and I... Uh, that's my friend. We have these discussions all the time. <laughs> I've drawn the short straw to there. Have you gone far? Uh, Ramsden. Oh? Jeff had some business over here, so <clears throat> I came along for the ride. Oh, um, I'm Gareth Jenkins, by the way, and this is Jeff Bryant. Oh, pleased to meet you. Audrey Roberts. By the left, Audrey. Looks like you bought the place. Uh, it's my line of work, really. It's what I do best. Oh, professional shopper. <laughs> <laughs> Fashion buyer, actually, for a big store in Manchester. Sounds interesting. Well, what's Southport got that Manchester hasn't? See, when you can find it, that is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's Alma now. Alma! Yeah. Um, Jeff and... Oh, uh, Gareth. Gareth, sorry, Gareth. Uh, Alma Baldwin. Oh, hello. Uh, there were no seats left, so Audrey kindly took us in. Oh! Uh. Are you in the same game, Alma? Game? A fashion buyer like Audrey. 
Well, Audrey was just telling no, me... No, no, Alma's in a different line altogether, no. She is a food consultant, aren't you, Alma? Uh, catering, etc. Oh, yes. I told you this place was upmarket, mate. A fashion buyer and a food consultant at the oh. same table. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, oh, can I buy you ladies a drink? A gin and tonic, Jeff, please. Uh, no, you would have a tonic water in my kit. <laughs> She's driving. <laughs> I drove here, Alma. Yes, well, you're driving home as well. Got to keep a clear head for your board meeting. Gin and tonic and tonic water, please. <laughs> uh, oh, you know, who'd be in fashion? She works all the hours that God sends. Don't you, Audrey? <laughs> I thought you said you were checking them out. Mm, I haven't had time, I'm sorry. Mind you, have got to admit it sounds a bit iffy, Red Ferret Records. Look, Vicky, when you've been in business as long as I have, you get a nose for things. I mean, look at the notepaper. Mm, you have fancy notepaper. Look, I'm not being cruel, I'm being careful. Hiya. Hey, you really? No, I'm a bit late, actually, but, well, time flies when you're having fun, doesn't it, Vicky? Mm, I wouldn't know. I'll see you later. Yeah, see you. Business meeting? Yeah. So what have you had? Lousy. Look, if you're still going to Dublin, I might just come with you. Ah, well, um, it's, uh, it's in a bay and start at the moment. I'll tell you what, put the kettle on and I'll get a bottle of milk off Gail. Okay. Uh, a pint of milk, please, Gail. Oh, not dining out tonight, Steve? No, 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 I am. We're working a bit too hard at the moment. Mm. Oh. This one particular do at the Dorchester. Oh, is that, is that the Dorchester in London? London, yeah. Anyway, on this occasion, they were all there. I mean, George Imane, the lot. And Liz Taylor, she had this wonderful off the show. Oh, no, there's, the a, there's a Dorchester in Salford, isn't there? Yeah. Well, that is more your stomping ground than mine, Alma. And there wasn't a meat pie in sight on this occasion, I can tell you that. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> What's so funny? You two, you're a double act. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> your phone's ringing. <laughs> Miss Alford wants to know me. <laughs> hello? Oh, hello, Gail. Uh, it's, um, it's Gail, my secretary. <laughs> no, it's, um, it's Newcastle on Monday. Yeah, and, uh, I'm in, I'm in Amsterdam tomorrow. Oh, and, uh, Gail, uh, if there are any letters want signing, would you just leave them for me on my desk? Yes, thank you, love. <laughs> Sorry about that, just a bit of a mix-up with my diary. <laughs> you were saying? <laughs> Half a bitter and half a lager, was it, Samir? Thank you. And an orange juice for me, please. All oh, right. Uh, a fizzy one or a still one? Um, fizzy sounds just what I need. Oh, okay. Yeah, I felt I deserted you this morning. Ran out when the going got tough. Oh, you had your job to see to. Yeah. Anyway, it's worked out well for Tracy. I'm pleased. Nothing short of amazing at that hospital. She and Samir chatted so much, I felt left out. So how soon will they do the operation? Well, if this ultra thing gives the okay, then pretty quick. And how do you feel about that? I'm numbing my mind to it at the moment. If it was anyone but Sammy. Yeah, I know. And to be honest with you, Deirdre, there's part of me that doesn't want it to happen. Though, I mean, I want Tracy to be well, of course I do, but, um, well, it isn't me. You had all the tests, Ken. You weren't suitable. Yeah. And I am be so mere that he is. And had I been suitable, would have had the necessary guts to go through with it. Of course you would. Well, classic paradox, isn't it? We'll never know. Ah, oh. can you manage? Yes, OK. And we'll wait for the first class. I'll give it another month. If that shop isn't sold, you can board it up. Oh, now, look, before we leap to ultimatums, mm -hmm. we ought to examine the facts. Look at the problem objectively. See if we can't find a solution. It's all work and bed, Reg. Yes, well, the work hasn't been too rosy, I grant you. The bed department's OK, you're quite nimble. It seems to me there's one common denominator in all this, isn't there? Because whether at work or at home, you seem to be dogged by the same affliction. Affliction? I'm not ill, Reg. I'm talking about your mother. Oh. You've got her with you 24 hours a day. If you're talking about getting rid of her, I haven't got the energy. Yes, I know that. 
and I want you to switch off totally over the weekend. Oh. Sleep as much as you like. Leave it to yours truly to deal with it. Oh. The household chores, including mine. Only. Mom. No. Hello, well, Scott's please, Racco. Righto. Got to let any news of the day trippers? Oh, no, not as I know of. But there's always a phone over there, Mike, if you're worried about Alma. Who's worried? No, she'd only phone if there was a problem, so uh, things must be going well. Going well? With Audrey? Oh, I'll say. Could be dancing in the streets now in Southport. <laughs> anyway, see ya. You're right, Elf. Yeah, well, I can put it. I can put it. Could you just shove it in the back? Oh, yeah. 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 Chino, thank you so much. Oh, it's no trouble at all. You've been such good company. Well, uh, we'll be over again next week, won't we, Alma? Oh, hey, listen, you must be joking. What is my schedule? Ah, um, I'd like a word with you about that, actually, Alma. Um, uh, look, I've been thinking, and, um, well, I reckon it's fate that brought me here today. Oh, come on. I'm a married woman, you know. Oh, that. relax, relax. It's not what you're thinking. Um, oh, I'm intruding on your time, mixing business with pleasure and all that, and I'm sorry. But I have a place in Ramsden, in need of some catering advice. Perhaps you could give me a ring. When are the time? Oh, no, no, do you know, no, I couldn't. Oh, yes, she could. She's the best in the business, I'm telling you. Just shut up, you. I mean, anyway, like I said, you know, with my schedule... Look, I'm not trying it on, Alma. I'm genuine. You've got the expertise and my place needs it. OK? Right, yeah, OK. Right, come on, you. <laughs> You're going to be late for your board meeting. Oh, bye, girls. Bye-bye. Oh, Listen, take care now. Bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs> That's not a screamer. Oh, well, I'm glad you think that. You know, you stitched me up rotten, you did, Audrey Roberts. Catering consultant. Oh dear. Hang oh, on. hello. Hello? Oh, hi, Mike. Yeah, we're, yeah we're, we're just on our way back now. Oh, well, you know, just, you know, so so. We've just been trading around shopping. Yeah. Yes, of course I'm driving. Yeah, I'm talking to you on the phone at the same time. You've got to get me locked up, you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway, we'll be back in about an hour, okay? Yeah, bye, love. Is the last time I go anywhere with you, Audrey Roberts. Oh, thank you, Bobby. You enjoyed it. <laughs> hey, now, what do you say we go to Morecambe tomorrow? Well, I can't, can I? I'm in Amsterdam tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>